Well, normally my inspiration comes from the young. Um, I've got, I love the way they put things together. Um, and, but this year, the theme of mine, um, I know it sounds very strange and it sounds quite wedding-y, but it's something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. And to explain that to you, it's, I feel that a lot of my clothes are classic, so I term that the old. I put a lot of really new, exciting stuff in. Something borrowed, um, it's the ideas that you get from overseas magazines. You can't help it because it's just there in movies and things. And something blue is I'm putting some jeans in. So that's the name of my um, an inspiration for this year. Cape Town Fashion Week is a fantastic thing for anybody's brand. Um, it immediately brings the public knowledge that something's going on in the city. Um, uh, the marvellous thing about it is that afterwards your sales go up, which means that all those people that I employ actually have got better chance for better jobs. I'll never leave Cape Town. Um, I feel that if you take your eye off the ball, um, your brand doesn't work so well. And how I've expanded is that I take my complete range to Joburg, I sell there twice a year, come back to base, and I've also got an online shopping, um, so anybody in the country can buy it, but we work basically from Cape Town, and that's where we're jolly well staying. Um, I've never tried to sell internationally because I've always been chasing my tail to keep up with what's here. Um, but on our website, on our, sorry, not website, sorry, but um, on our online, we do get quite a lot of sales overseas, but it's normally with people with a lot of money because there's a huge landing fees from there, so it is quite difficult. It was quite difficult deciding what to do. Um, because I think you've just got to choose one person to tie in with and we tied in with Noah um, and we've done quite a few things like for example one year anything in the store that was red we gave 10% to Noah um, and then all our little underpieces um, for a whole year it was 10% to Noah and they're very pleased with it and we're delighted. Well, straight after Fashion Week, um, as if it isn't enough that we're all exhausted, we host a party here um, at the shop and we serve huge slabs of chocolate and wine and we just ask the public and all those people that couldn't manage to get to the show to come here and have a party. After that week, I think, I don't know, um, I think bed, <laughs> bed for a week. <laughs> Yes, I think that um, the brand has actually improved considerably. Um, I think that there was a time when there were only a certain amount of people that came to my store. And certainly since um, 94, I think one of the fantastic things were, was that there were so many people coming into the country. Um, people are much more relaxed about you know visiting here, which was good for my store. But apart from that, I've put a lot of work into the brand. You know, I've started to do more adventurous things um, and I just feel very confident about doing business in South Africa. Well, first of all, you have to love fashion. You've got to love it more than anything else. Secondly, you go to people when you leave your college and you make yourself indispensable. You do it for nothing and you work very, very hard. And that's the only way, I mean, unless you're totally lucky, but whatever you do, know what you're doing is the right thing for you and make yourself indispensable and most of all, work hard. If you've got the talent and you believe in yourself, work hard.